is Math 88, section 4.4. We're doing negative exponents. So here's what negative exponents do. They, there's two ways to think about them. One is they do division. They're division. Um, another thing is that they flip the fraction and make you um, make you do the opposite of what what it was. Let me show you what I mean. Like um, two to the to the negative third. You can think of this as dividing by two three times. So or one over two cubed. Notice that that's the same as like if I had if I said that I had uh, two to the negative three over one, which this is. The negative exponent just flips where that part's in the fraction is. At, and then the exponent spent. So this would be 1 over 2 to the third. 2 to the third is uh, 8, so 1 eighth. Or if I have this 1 over 5 to the negative 2, um, if you think about it in the flipping where that is in the fraction part, this turns it into 5 squared over 1, which is 25. If you think of it strictly as a fraction, you have 1 divided by 1 over 5 squared. And when you divide by a fraction, You, you flip the fraction and multiply, and it gets you to 25. So negative uh, exponents, what they do is they flip that part. It, they, if it's in the top of the fraction, it sends it to the bottom. If it's in the bottom of the fraction, it sends that part to the top. And once you've moved it, you've spent the negative, so you don't use the negative anymore. So if I had something like um, 1 over 3 to the negative 4th. Notice what happens is this means this is in the wrong spot of the fraction. So this is going to come up 3 to the 4th over 1, which is the same as 3 to the 4th, which you could do in your calculator, is 81. Or even if I had like 1 -fifth to the negative 3, that negative outside flips the whole fraction. This would be the same as 5 over 1 to the 3rd, which is just 5 to the 3rd, which is, I think, 124. 5. 25 times 5 is 125. Um, now let's just do it with some numbers. If I had x to the negative third, I think of that as over 1. Flips that, sends it to the bottom, x to the third. Now, let's build on this a little bit. If I have x to the fourth over x, that's like x to the fourth over x to the first. Uh, x times x times x over x. Oops, four x's. Over x, these cancel out x to the third. So notice when I have something like this division, I can just subtract those uh, exponents. Like one of these x's cancels out one of those x's. So if I had x to the third over x to the fifth, two ways to think about this. One is uh, these three x's cancel out three of those x's, leaving two x's in the bottom. Or if I do the subtraction thing, um, 3 minus 5 is negative 2. That's x to the negative second power. So here it is written this way. Here it is written that way. They're the same thing. So I'm going to ask you to do some um, simplifying. I usually want you to write it this way, not with negative exponents. How about if I had x to the x 6 times x to the negative 3? Well, that's the same as x to the 6 times 1 over x cubed which is x to the 6 over x cubed, which is x to the third. Um, notice I could add those. 6 minus 3 is just 3. So if I had something like x to the fifth times x to the negative 2, 5 minus 2, x cubed. Or if I have x to the negative fifth, x to the negative 2, negative 5 minus 2, x to the negative seventh, which I would then write as 1 over x to the seventh. All right, just keep thinking about how this flips flips the fraction, like if it's this is in the numerator, sends it to the denominator, and uh, I think that those will be pretty straightforward for you. Give those questions a try. Let me know if you have any questions.